All right, guys, what's up? So today I have got a new review for you. This is going to be on a military smartwatch. Now, this was sent to me by a company to um, to demo and do a review on, so I just want to be upfront with that. Um, other than the watch being mine to keep, no money exchange hands, and I am not under any obligation to give positive or negative um, thoughts on this, no script. Um, so what you're going to hear is my own opinion and my own uh, my opinion only. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, so I will be referencing, uh, I do have some notes in front of me, so I will be uh, referencing them. So if you see me looking down, that's what's going on. So what we got here is a, like I said, a military smartwatch. All right, and what is cool about this watch is they did name it after me, which I thought was kind of uh, kind of nice here. It's called the, uh, you can see it on the bottom there, it's called the Hunk. So, <laughs> nice little joke for you. Okay, so uh, let me reference my notes real quick here, and then what we'll do is we'll do uh, an up close, and I'll show you all the, uh, the features on the screen. Okay, so first off, this is from a company called Fit Polo. You can get this in army green or gray. Um, this is the gray model that they sent me. Currently, as of the recording of this video, it runs $69.99, and they do have a 25% off coupon. Um, that is on Amazon. I'll have a link down below. Okay, so this has a 300 milliamp hour battery, and they're claiming 30 plus days on standby with two hours of charging. Um, I will say, um, my first charge gave me almost two weeks with with normal use as far as um, receiving texts and calls and you know just looking at the watch and controlling my music with it. So just my basic use I got two weeks out of which I thought was a, a pretty reasonable amount of time. All right, and they're claiming sweat proof, dust proof, anti-impact, and um, well, waterproof. Um, I never like to say anything's waterproof just because you can never guarantee 100%. We do, uh, I do have a waterproof test I will show you later on. And there's a 100 plus sport modes, sleep monitor, and like I mentioned before, you can receive text messages on here. Uh, I couldn't reply to them, but I could receive them. And you can make and receive Bluetooth calls through this. Uh, there is a little speaker somewhere, but I could hear um, the other end through the, through the watch. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, when I referenced the charging, uh, you can see the two little dots right there, um, and also that right there is what reads your uh, your heart rate. But those two little dots are for the uh, the magnetic charger. That's going to show up here. Little magnetic charger, and that'll just uh, and it only goes one way. That'll just snap onto there, and then obviously your USB end to plug into the wall, and you also get the fancy box that comes in. The instruction manual, which is, it's fairly vague. It just kind of tells you what features are on it. It doesn't really tell you all the ways to access everything. And then you also get the warranty card. And on the back of the warranty card, it says you can get a one year extended warranty and 24 seven um, customer service. So I don't know how good the warranty system is because I haven't had an issue with it yet. Okay, so let me show you some of the features. I'll bring it up close and I'll quickly run through all the features for you. Okay, so starting with the screen, there's two functions, or two features, I should say. One is the, um, the, the move your wrist when you bring it up, you know, to look at it, it'll turn on. Otherwise, you just simply have to push any one of the buttons to turn it on. So once it's on, you have a few options. Um, if you scroll up, that's where you'll receive um, whatever you have, if you have text messages, I have uh, Facebook Messenger, text messages will come to this. Otherwise you can do um, YouTube, Instagram, Flickr, all sorts of different ones. And as you saw the screen turned off, it's only got a few seconds where it'll stay on. Okay, there's nothing else down below. Uh, I'll come back to, well here's the up. Um, gives you your options, you could turn it on if you want to allow Bluetooth calling. Um, there's a do not disturb function. Um, there's a brightness. A mute this little one right here is the one I was talking about for uh, now it's turned off so it won't turn on unless you actually push the button I keep that on uh, vibrate mode there is also a flashlight not super bright but it allows you to kind of see what's going on just a little bit and then there's also your settings menu for setting your date and time and system and there also is uh, watch faces so that's the one I currently have and here's a couple of other options that you can choose 
and you pick the one you want you just push the button again back out of this and then you can scroll side to side so you have daily activities which is going to tell you your steps and your weekly and all that stuff how many miles you went how many calories you burned um, a sleep monitor tells you how long you've been asleep and that kind of stuff heart rate monitor again that should tell you your week as well as what you got going on now blood oxygen I don't believe that uh, from what I'm reading I don't believe that's a function that actually works um, weather app tells you current and a future forecast now this is one complaint I do have it is in Celsius not Fahrenheit um, I'm in America so um, that would be an upgrade that I would like to see that have uh, the option of Fahrenheit or Celsius okay rolling on um, you can have the music control so if your phone is playing Bluetooth or you have a Bluetooth speaker you can pause it um, volume all sorts of stuff through there um, here you can do your contacts call history or call that's the only thing on this page and we are right back to the main page okay so then after the main page if we push this top corner button here that's going to open up a whole nother menu so you got your phone music um, there's a camera button there so you have stopwatch timer flashlight you can find your phone remote camera there's even a calculator built in it's like this thing it's pretty cool it's got a lot of different features um, a lot of these buttons here are the ones I already showed you uh, like that you can access through the main menu but you click this little guy here the little running icon and here's all the different modes you can get I said badminton table tennis tennis walking basketball football baseball volleyball cricket hockey dancing sprinting yoga I mean the list just goes on and on horseback riding trail running taekwondo so you have just a plethora of the different options for uh, for tracking your, your fitness and then again just some more of the features you know your text messages which like I said I don't have anything on right there on right now all right so as you can see this sucker has got quite a few features um, the price at 70 bucks you know minus the 25 bucks I mean it's I don't think that's really a bad deal um, I did mention um, I did quotes waterproof let me show you a quick little clip here of uh, my waterproof test okay I'm out at my local park let's do the waterproof test on this watch There. So as you can see, it definitely survived several seconds, fully submerged underwater, still functions without a problem. Um, I don't know that I would go swimming with it. Um, like I, said, I would consider this highly water resistant because it didn't even bat an eye when I, I dunked underwater. So I I would think you can go swimming with it, but I don't, you know, don't, don't quote me on that. Don't hold me to it if you go swimming and you do wreck it. But the fact that there's no actual plug-ins, um, you know, for the charger, it does appear to be sealed pretty well. I think you'd be okay, but again, um, I I'd be hesitant to swim with it. Um, shower, I wouldn't have a problem washing my hands. It, it's going to be fine for that. And I just want to touch on the battery one more time, real quick. Um, they do say two hours of charging. Uh, it takes two hours to fully charge it. I'd say it's pretty close. That's about what it took me. And you do get a warning when it comes down to uh, your battery life. It'll hit 12 percent. Um, little battery icon turns red. I did get a buzz, a little vibration telling me, and the screen did say low battery, so you will get a, a warning. All right, I'll show you real quick here. If you look in this corner here is the battery icon. If we scroll, let's, which way am I going here? And if we scroll down to that menu, you can see in the top corner, um, 52% so that it'll actually tell you your, your percentage so it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a heads up you know it's getting low otherwise you will have that warning okay so what do I think of this watch um, I actually love it um, I've been using a Garmin Instinct for about a year now and that's been a phenomenal watch nice heavy duty it's not a touch screen and I was hesitant to get a touch screen because I'm worried about the scratches and that Garmin's got a raised um, perimeter around it so I don't think I can really scratch it uh, I will say that one though, the battery life will get me a month of normal use, where this is only two weeks, but um, if it shows up here, maybe, maybe not. It's probably gonna... There is a raised edge around it, so you do have some protection on the screen. And after several weeks of using it, I don't even have a scuff on it. 
So um, I think it's a great watch. You know, so even though this was a fraction of the price of my Garmin, I'm probably going to start wearing this exclusively because it's got pretty much all the features I would want. My Garmin does do GPS tracking, which would be a benefit for me hiking wise versus this, but otherwise everything else, the sucker's got it. So if you are in the market for a smartwatch, um, I definitely think this would be worthwhile. And I should mention, there is an app you put on your phone, it's called Glory Fit. It's the app that pairs with the watch, um, Android or um, Apple, for you Apple users, I'm an Android user, so heck with you guys, no, I'm just kidding. And uh, so yeah, you just pair that with it and then that way you have your sync. If you get a text message and all that stuff, that's how it, it syncs through the watch. All right, so I'm starting to ramble, so that's where I'm gonna cut this off. So overall, I do think it is a great watch. Um, I would definitely buy one had they not sent one to me. Um, again, link down below if this is something you're interested in. Feel free to drop me some comments. I'd love to see them. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.